already. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Quantum Coalescence podcast. This is a group of three ladies that uh, are getting together to chat with you guys. My name is Lena, and we have Jen and Missy here with us. Basically, the, the goal kind of behind this podcast is what we're going to be talking about today. This will probably be a short episode where we'll talk about essentially what we want to focus on with this podcast, this project, and hopefully build a community around those focuses. And then we will uh, get into a little bit of how we came up with this idea and why we wanted to bring this into the world. But yeah, essentially, I think our focus for this is going to be to just kind of take a look at um, some, some metaphysical topics in, in a different way. We want to really get into the meat of like deconstructing and researching things as appropriate so that we can, you know, help people in the community come to an understanding of how they can bring these, these lessons and these ideas and these concepts into their everyday life. So we want to share stories. We want to discuss experiences. We want to tackle the really hard questions that can be difficult to chew on. And we want to talk about that big stuff, not just the things that are cool or trending. And we'll have opinions mixed in there, but it's not just going to be like the safe stuff. So whatever you guys want to add to that, feel free. I just think we want to make sure that we're not here to ask the easy questions. Um, our job kind of, I kind of want to operate as a research team where we, you know, almost journalism in feel where we may present different topics, but not necessarily close it for you because all perspectives are valid and, and all perspectives are truth and no one can make that decision for you, but you. So I think uh, we're unique and I think that uh, we're going to try to keep it unique. And my point was uh, just thinking about how we are unique in terms of the, you know, our light worker title, if you choose to use that, is that we're straddling both worlds. We're living in a time right now where, you know, 2000 years ago, they went off into a separate uh, area to commune with God and we're teaching people and right now light workers of the world are teaching people how to commune with God in the you know the basement of their home or out in everyday life and it's really straddling both worlds and I think it's unique it's important it's important to coalesce all these things and bring everything together so I'm really looking forward to talking with you girls plus you know we're funny I'm just saying. <laughs> we are funny yeah, I like I like how you said that. Finish that off as coalesce it together because it's not just straddling both worlds. It's like integrating. It's coalescing it. It's uh, where we've kind of moved beyond certain concepts as well. In I believe in the metaphysical world, in the spiritual world, and I think I'm excited to maybe bring some alternative perspective that helps push your limits a little bit helps. Push. Let's be honest. Jen wants to get in a, Jen wants to get in the tiff. Where I, you know, <laughs> I think it's beneficial to have, you know, little corals and uh, alternative, <laughs> you know, having those alternative views, push certain buttons um, so that you can question your, your own uh, paradigms. You can question your thinking and your thought process. And if it, you know, doesn't fit, then you find, that's great. If it does and yet you, you expand beyond your way of thinking or your way of being, then even better. Like that's, I'm hoping to have pushed some of that and I'm not going to be afraid to bring up some things, I hope, um, when we get down to it and not be afraid to like bring some alternative perspective that you guys may, you or others or viewers and watchers right. and listeners might be like, what the hell is she? No, no, <laughs> you know. Reel her back in. Yeah, right. Well, and it's exactly. important that they know that we're going through this too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, we're not sitting in a position of authority. We're sitting in a position of poking the bear almost. Like, what what can we do to poke this bear to get you to think more about it? We're We're definitely not coming at this from an elitist perspective of like, we know all. <laughs> it's like, we're, we're working on this stuff actively too. We're going through experiences. We're, um, we're transversing those same pathways as well. So we're not trying to be gatekeepers here. We're just really wanting to dig into some things that, um, you know, are a little rough to handle. 
you know, challenging. Well, and things that we're not seeing right now out there, you know, I don't, I think our, which our purview might be a little limited. Maybe we don't know about things, but from our, this was a gap that we saw. I think another little thing to maybe mention too is, you know, as you maybe grow with us, as this podcast grows, um, it might seem like we contradict ourselves at some point because like you said, we're in it too. We're growing, we're less, you know, we're working through it just as much. So one week we may say one view and be like, you know, this really resonates and fits. I think I figured it out. And then in two, three, four weeks time, who knows when it might be like, no, <laughs> that that's totally not it for me anymore. And, you know, so I hopefully it'll be a journey for all of us. A lot can change in two to four weeks. <laughs> exactly. So did so, we, sorry, uh, Lena, but kind of want to talk about like where a little bit more that this came from for anybody who currently follows us um, and then has kind of seen some shifting and then now is maybe hopefully still following and, and listening of where this came from. Yeah, I definitely wanted to get into that because it was one of those things where I think we were all feeling the need for this, you know, energy to be put out there and, and for something to, to hop in there and discuss these things. And I think you guys had started to talk about it first, and then you kind of started talking to me, and it hadn't really developed into the idea of a podcast yet. And then I mentioned, well, I really want to start a podcast. And then you're like, oh my God. So if you guys could chat about how that started between the two. It of was an accident. I think that would be cool. We didn't mean for this to be happening. <laughs> exactly. No. I think there was something that Missy keeps, Missy and I talk quite a bit. And it is joked in our household a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but... So we're talking about these really freaking unique concepts. And I'm just like, ah, hold up. I mean, this would be great to bring to the world. Like this needs to be shared. This would be a great, po and I use like, this would be a great podcast episode. This would be great. And then I was like. <laughs> right. Missy just like, nah. And so I started writing in the back of my planner every time something would kind of hit me, like this needs to be talked about. And so eventually I think we had, enough to be like what the hell why not let's do it <laughs> right and then if we're gonna do this then we want more support and another pillar as missy would say let's be honest we need lena right right <laughs> we need her <laughs> we'll be off in never never land and later we're gonna have to be like right reeling us in because for sure <laughs> Part of the reason that Jen is the one that gets those text messages is because I, I don't have to explain like mm -hmm. when my brain thinks in cryptic little puzzle pieces, I don't have to go into the backstory every time. And with the, the back and forth is very quick and then we can talk, we can piggyback off of that and then she can make a topic. Like she's the one that's doing all the formatting. I'm just talking. <laughs> yeah, she's but feeding us the content. Her, <laughs> it turns out that Lena was thinking very much along mm -hmm. the same lines. So I think it was there the whole time. It was just finding our way around, back around to it. I'm so excited, guys. You have no <laughs> idea. Oh my for gosh. Sure. I have been holding my mouth shut, which is so hard for me to do. <laughs> I can't even give Christmas presents. I had to give our kids Christmas presents uh, to the nieces and nephews on Thanksgiving because I can't keep my mouth shut. For those who... Look at you following your excitement. Oh my God. Yeah, that, for me to hold this and, and while we formulate and, and build and this together in the background and, and really make sure that this is a good format and we're, we're bringing, bringing it consecutively and professionally in a way, formatted nicely, I, I'm really excited. Professional but real. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, do we want to just briefly touch on just how we ended up, like when we went through our awakening or how we ended up in this game, what puts us in a position to be, to be leading this podcast or be doing anything of this nature? Yeah, definitely. So my whole awakening to the metaphysical started in 2016. At the time I was 
teaching. So I went to college for secondary education and English double major. So I was teaching high school and um, it ended up being this long hold drawn out experience that I wasn't really happy with. And basically, long story short, my position when I was teaching ended up being cut. Mm-hmm. And around here in the Cedar Rapids area, the positions are really competitive. At least they were back then. And I didn't want to move to a small town and teach in a small town. So I was like, well, I'll just find something else. I'll switch gears. And so I started working in corporate America. And that gave me time and opportunity to explore some things that I hadn't done before and probably wouldn't have if I was still teaching. So I started studying um, modern shamanism as a way to research for writing. And basically then I started to go through my own spiritual awakening, if you will, while going through that process. So it started off as research. It ended up being a personal journey. (laughs) So I studied modern shamanism, mostly with a Native American background, but not entirely. Upon that, I leapfrogged into sound therapy, specifically working with singing bowls and then incorporated other instruments. So for me, a lot of my focus has been with frequency and sound, but also energies, angels, deities, that is a lot of what my writing is focused on. That is where I am coming to you from. So what, if you had to summarize like what you're most passionate about in your work, is it sound or is it something else? It's moving energy. I'm moving energy Mm -hmm. and helping people progress and whatever tools I have to bust out of the toolbox is what I will use. Very cool. Jen, you go next. Oh, okay. I'll I'll bring it up the rear. I (laughs) I actually started Probably in 2009-ish. I met my husband in 2008, which started actually just this big, oh my God, my worthiness stuff coming up and, you know, oh, this is what the world can be. So in 2009, though, is kind of when I started meeting a family friend of theirs uh, and his family who is very more into earth-based spirituality and having tea with her, exploring, she kind of drops little nuggets and hints and stuff. So I found my first tarot deck by browsing Barnes and Noble in that little small woo section. And I picked that up. So I've been reading tarot ever since. And so, you know, just over a decade. Wow. (laughs) Makes me feel old, (laughs) but. Sorry, not old. No. And so from, from that point up until about in, in just doing self-research, not knowing there's a community out there, a lot of book reading, a lot of just me in nature, me with, you know, my husband and his friend Jan, um, which many of you who follow me know all about. Then in about at one point in 2016, I believe is when I shifted from my own internal, like, okay, I've done the work internally. I need, I need to start helping people that calling, if you will, follow the, uh, that urge and that calling. So in 2016, I think that's when I met Lena in the Moon Key transmissions. So I started there. I didn't directly jump into the modern shamanism just yet. I wasn't quite ready for that. So I started there and then I got Reiki 1 and 2 certified. And then in 2017 is when I took the modern shamanism, did a lot of that deep work. And I think having that ordainment really helped for me, which I'm sure we're going to talk about at some point in one of our episodes is about the certifications and ordainments and all of the things. But having that saying, okay, now you can move forward and help people more externally, more publicly, really helped me. And then since then, it's been just a whirlwind of who am I? How do I do this? Alchemy is a big base of what I do. Instead of moving energy, I like to transmute energy maybe and shifting things and uh, so all of that kind of combines into this now where I just provide what I call shamanic alchemy so I guess that's kind of it and then I get a approval from the kitty so (laughs) perfect kitty says yes love it (laughs) um so well, for me, you guys, uh, I know you guys know, but mine was fast and hard, uh, kind of grew up in a family where it wasn't taboo to discuss these sorts of topics. In fact, it was just kind of a, of interest. Um, my mom was a medium, but she shoved it away. 
packed it away, put it in a box, but it didn't stop them. They came anyway. And then in 2016, we lost, as a family unit, we lost a couple of people that caused us to sort of dig deeper into what it is we do. And it's been a phenomenal, thrilling journey. And I really can sit back now and say, man, I had all these choices for my life. I, I had all of these things I could have done and that I could have been passionate about, but I somehow, we got to mix spirituality and science with um, the medical and industry, medical revolution and the physical vessel. And so, uh, and trauma informed care. So I'm super into alchemizing the energy of the old earth versus the new earth. And so I'm really working hard on with individuals on empowerment and alchemizing old energy in whatever form that manifested in them. So it's different for everybody. Everybody's story is different, but across the board, the big, the big themes are empowerment and self healing. Like that we have this inside of us and it's been withheld for us. And I know we'll get into that. I so love it. So we kind of covered what we were, where we're coming from, Mm -hmm. how this came together, what our objectives are. What do you think? Does that give some groundwork or? I guess I'd like to say too, I mean, this is going to be a weekly podcast, so you can catch it every week, listen or watch as it's good for you. But our goal here is to pump out the content every week. Give, a, give you enough to chew on and to, to grow. Touch base with us too. I think it'd be, it's good to know that you have support. going. Yeah, through. so we've got social media. We have ways for you to touch base with us. And I think, um, in, it, you know, in addition to all of that, I think uh, basically just to kind of reiterate, I, one of our biggest goals is going to be like, as Missy said, to poke the bear and to take a look at how we can alchemize these things and coalesce stuff. Uh, We would love to get to the point where we are working with guests. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do like a a guest once a month um, just to see how it goes. I think we're going to get our feet wet and get into a rhythm first here. Uh, But you know, if, if there is anybody out there that either has topics that they really want to have us chew on or uh, if you have an idea or if you want to join us you know feel free to let us know yeah we'll have our contact information just thank everybody for joining us for this first little initial pilot slash get to know us and our purpose uh, episode check us out on facebook the page is quantum coalescence you can also email us at quantum coalescence at gmail.com <laughs> try to mem- know how to spell that dang word it's been my problem <laughs> we'll get it <laughs> gotta look at right. the time <laughs> you might want to bookmark our page just in case it's a tr- it's a tricky one sometimes thank you Alrighty. thank you thanks guys mm-hmm.